It's the fourth round of the FA Cup against Blackburn Rovers. An army of over 7,000 Wrexham fans have invaded the Lancashire town in the hope of seeing a classic FA Cup giant killing. And because we played on a Monday night, we knew the prize for advancing before we even kicked off. One of those sides will host... Number 16. Number 16, Newcastle United. That's right, Premier League, Newcastle United. What dreams are made of. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's focus on the game in hand. Are you ready? Blackburn is in the north of England, 75 miles northeast of Wrexham. It's an old textile and mill town with lovely old buildings that show its rich industrial heritage. But not exactly a bucket list weekend away trip. These days, Blackburn are languishing in mid-table in the championship. But back in the 90s, they were the cool kids on the block. Picture this, the 1994-95 season and Alan Shearer was basically the Erling Haaland of the 90s, scoring for fun. Thanks to their local millionaire benefactor, Jack Walker. With his backing, they weren't just crashing the Premier League party, they were the life of it. After just three seasons in the top flight, they pulled off the ultimate swag by winning the Premier League title. An incredible feat only six other teams have managed. Though on a smaller scale, we're crafting our own dream. And here in Blackburn, the palpable pre-match buzz of the FA Cup is our showcase. <laughs> Hello, mate. How's it going? It's a mix of nerves, excitement and a touch of trepidation. Fully charged and ready to roll. The local pubs are a buzz with reds, bursting with excitement, gearing up to take the edge off for the pre-match fight. This is the greatest club cup competition on the planet, bar fucking none. It gives big clubs like Wrexham a chance to take down higher level clubs like Blackburn. It's great, I love the FA Cup and it's a special part of Wrexham's history. Remember Mickey Thomas? I certainly do. Yeah, Arsenal. Wrexham's legendary 2-1 victory over Arsenal in 1992 is one of the greatest FA Cup upsets ever. Forever etched in our memories across all generations. My grandkids are talking about that now. Fantastic. It was the best FA Cup goal that they've ever seen. Anton, you know, chain killing bastard mate. The FA Cup can bring anything to anybody and hope and glory. Are we having it? We're having it. Too much confidence here, mate. I don't know. I'm, I'm worried, mate. I'm worried now. Are we going to win, though? Definitely. Yeah. You're going to have faith. I need you as an alarm clock in the morning every day because you've oh, like, got a smile on my face, you have, mate. I, mean, I, I, was, you. I was a little bit nervous, and then now I'm like, come on, bring them on. <laughs> yeah. Why are you called Jerry the Berry? When we won against Portwood, I painted my face red and white. Yeah. And they started calling me Jerry the Berry. The iconic triumph that secured our much-anticipated return to the Football League last year. I was going to do it for this game, yeah, yeah. but I'm going to wait till Newcastle. Jerry the Bear, he's coming back. In the midst of a sea of Wrexham fans, the burning question had to be posed. What is the collective now for a bunch of sheep jaggers? A gaggle. A gaggle of sheep A gaggle. Is it like a school of sheep jaggers? What is it? We're all together, yeah. and whoever's going to get it will fucking get it. Just put your wellies on and find out. <laughs> I hope there's no sheep in that way, and they're not going to be safe tonight. This is a lovely gentleman here, but I mean, surely this is a sign that the apocalypse is upon us. When Wrexham are a part of a half and half scarf, I never thought I'd see the day, to be honest. You saw many? We've done a few, mate. We've done a few. Supply and demand, that's what it's all about. The apocalypse is near. I can see fire in the sky up there now. Hopefully it stays off till after the game. Gazing at Ewood Park from the outside, a wave of excitement hits me. These are the nights that you dream of as a football fan, they really are. It's a different beast compared to some of our usual stomping grounds. Big ground, big away end, 7,000 fans in one stand. It's going to be sensational. Go! We've got to prove that we belong on this stage, in these stadiums. Tonight's a big test. Our support is championship standard support. 
Our support is better than their support, to be honest. Your support is fucking shit. Come on, lads, get in the box. Bit of a nervy start from the Reds, but you know. Championship side away, you're gonna have to come up with a bit of pressure on you. It's a good ball in, you know. It's a good ball in. We picked up out with we've been the better side last five or ten. Yeah. Keeper. I hope he stays with us a long time. He's cost us there, he's come rushing out and they've slotted it under him. Very fucking well. This could really be a game changer today because it looks like maybe we're headed for defeat. But you know, a pie can make all the difference to my days. All right, boys, at the chicken Balti Reds. It's a little bit on the spicy side. Chicken, nice and tender. It's coming apart in my hands. This is like a metaphor for what happened to Wrexham. It's a fantastic start, and then it's all falling apart. Tommy's scram rating, 8.0. Because the taste, it's lovely, mate. So eight? Yeah, eight. Four one down now, don't deserve that at all. We are where we are, we're four one down. But yeah, come on, plenty of time to go. Who knows, a couple of quick goals. Okay, so I hope that kills you. Well, that was a tough one to take. It's a reminder of the journey to come. There's still a real gap between us and the championship, but I have faith that we will close it. I have complete faith we'll close it. Onwards and upwards. We're, get, we're, we're coming to the championship. It's a matter of when. We're coming to the championship, so fucking get ready. Get ready for the Reds. Catch up with Wrexham every Thursday on the Men in Blazers YouTube channel. Subscribe with notifications on to never miss an episode.